Jeremy Weiss here, here live at Retail Axe. I'm here with Chase. He probably has the coolest shoes on the showroom floor. Chase, tell us about your company and what you do. So uh, I own Blender's Eyewear. I started this business back in 2012. Um, we are a sunglasses brand out of San Diego, California. Uh, we make radical style sunglasses, really kind of inspired by the lifestyle of San Diego. Everything Rich. cool comes out of San Diego. I mean, San Diego's America's finest city, right? <laughs> what made you start the company? It's funny, I was actually going to see one of my favorite DJs at a nightclub, and uh, I wanted something flashy to kind of add to my outfit, so I went to Target, and the first thing I saw was a pair of neon green sunglasses. And I wore them out to the club, and long story short, everyone was coming up to me asking about my shades, and they were like, whoa, where'd you get them? Let me try them on. And so there was all this attention around my shades, and so it literally happened on the dance floor of a nightclub. And so from there, like I was just kind of like noticing people walk by. I was a surf instructor, so I'd spend all my time at the beach, and I would uh, notice people walk by in the sunglasses that they were wearing, and just saw a huge gap in the market. It was either like my five dollar beater shades or like your two hundred dollar Oakleys. Right. There wasn't a brand that was positioned in the middle that was cool that I resonated with and was also affordable. So I figured, what better place to do this in San Diego? If it's not going to work here, it's not going to work anywhere. So I borrowed two thousand bucks from my roommate, and I jumped headfirst in the pool. <laughs> what are the most popular products you have? Um, I mean, we have. We have a, a pair of sunglasses called Pacific Grace, and we can't keep these things in stock. Hmm. I mean, they're they're citrus gray with rose gold lenses. Um, so we have a we have a whole wide array of styles that do really well. Uh, but it's cool to see like the flashy styles and like the really vibrant um, eye catching styles do the best, which is which is like the core DNA of blenders. Hmm. Talk about the evolution of the company. You started off, you know, all started with the uh, the Target buying the Target sunglasses, and yeah. then where to go from there. So from there, I mean, like, I didn't know how to build a website. I didn't know how to drive traffic. All I knew how to do was hustle on the streets. So I would literally be selling shades out of my backpack mm. um, at pool parties, at music festivals, and also uh, to people I would give surf lessons to, right? And so I built the brand offline, as that's all I knew how to do. And then from there, we migrated to social media, started to figure out Instagram, started to figure out kind of like working with photographers and building out content and stuff like that. And that's what really kind of blew the door wide open for us and started kind of utilizing the, the platform in ways that other brands really weren't doing because we were still fairly new on it. Um, and so we just started building our business through social media, right? And then from there, we just started focusing direct to consumer, building our customer base, um, and now we're 99% online. So hmm. it's, pretty, it's pretty crazy. What do you see as challenges uh, with e-commerce? Um, I mean, the challenges are everywhere, right? I mean, it's, I think it's only getting more competitive and it's only getting more, more expensive. So digital marketing costs are going up, right? Ad fatigue is starting to happen. Um, so there's challenges there, right? But I think overall, if you're if you're building a good brand and you're retaining your customers and you're you know you're you're providing a lot of value over time, um, that's what's going to carry the company forward. So for me, like or for us, it's it's retention, you know, and it's focusing there and making sure that every everyone we serve are doing the best we can to bring them back. Surf instructor to sunglass brand, that's pretty cool. Um, what do you see the future? Future of e-commerce in general and, and what's next for, for your company? So, the fu I mean, the future of e-com is going to continue to evolve, right? I mean, I think things are just taking, it's taking the industry by storm. I don't think it's going anywhere. It's only getting bigger. So as long as you're continuing to adapt your methods, you're continuing to evolve your, your presence on social media, um, evolve your product line, retain your customers, uh, I think those are going to be the brands that are going to last over time for sure. So it's, it's definitely heading in the right direction. Just costs got to stay low. <laughs> How does retail fit into your, your company? So we actually just launched our first flagship store mm, um, cool. in earlier this year in March. It's doing by Vitality Tap in San Diego. Yeah, no, My it's actually place. it's actually connected to our to our office. So oh. it's a uh, it's it's a new operation. It's doing significantly well, um, and so we're looking at potentially building this out as a new channel, and really kind of making sure that we're owning that experience from top to bottom. As uh, we've actually struggled in traditional retail, like we've had a tough time doing it. So uh, you've gone in through other we, other retailers. Yeah, we've gone in because I could totally see you guys in surf shop. I mean, you probably know all those people yeah. in San Diego, right? And that's and, and that's, they have them on the shelves. They look cool. They're with, you yeah. know, they're they're on point with your brand and, and what you've done too. Right. So it from doesn't a, work as well. No, from a Why surf from a surf background, like yes, I want to see blenders on the shelves with Oakley and all these other brands that I've always admired as as a, as a kid. But the reality is those stores don't have any money. They don't pay you. The terms are awful. Um, and right. so why would we want to go head to head when, with all those other brands when we can really control the experience from top to bottom? Totally. And the way retail is going, it's, mm. you know, 30% of retail is going to be experiential but by 2020. And it's not going to be from the bigger, the, the bigger fish. It's going to be from digitally native brands that are, you know, opening up their own stores and controlling those experiences around their products. How'd you come up with the name? So I was living on a street called Hornblend in Pacific Beach. Mm. 
And uh, so we, I got the name from that. And then also just the mixing and matching and the blending of colors that we do. So have you always been an entrepreneur? No, this is my first business. Really? Um, I mean, what about family or anything? Yeah. Because so, it seems like you have a natural hustle too. Oh, absolutely. My dad, uh, my dad started his own business. He, he does trademarks. And so I, I would mm. say it's probably in my blood mm. um, from him. But, uh, you know, my first business was actually in high school. I would, I would get s stickers from surf contests mm. that I would get for, for free. And so I would sell them to students in my class. I made yes. about 10 bucks a day. <laughs> had zero. That's, that's like a lot of money for, oh, for had a student. Zero cost of goods, yeah. zero, zero overhead. I was 100% profit. Like it was just, it was, it was awesome. <laughs> yeah. Where can people find, tell people where they can find you online, social media? Yeah, you can check us out on social media, on Instagram, Facebook, at Blenders Eyewear. Also on our website, BlendersEyewear.com. Um, tomorrow is actually National Sunglass Day. Really? And what that means, it is a Blenders coin holiday. So we're having a buy one, get one free. It actually starts huh. in 20 minutes. So uh, if you're looking for some shades for summer, come on in. We got plenty for you. Check it out. Jeremy Weiss, live from Retail X.